calories. We all love eating them, but we all hate burning them. Over the last few years, the infamous 10,000 calorie challenge spread like wildfire across the internet and social media platforms. It had us all telling ourselves, I could do that. But what happens when another element is added to the challenge? What if one had to also burn 10,000 calories while eating 10,000 calories at the same time? In this video, one unfortunate soul will find out for himself. Man, this hell is brutal. I know what you guys are thinking. Eric, why are you trying to burn 10,000 calories in 24 hours? Well, let's just be honest here, everyone. It's not a secret anymore. I certainly know my way around food and I certainly know how to eat lots of calories. That being said, everyone, I wanted to do something this week that was gonna put both my eating skills and my fitness skills to the test. In this video, I'm going to be attempting to eat 10,000 calories in 24 hours, and I'm also going to be attempting to burn 10,000 calories in that same 24 hours. To be able to burn 10,000 calories in a 24 hour span, I'm going to have to burn at least 416.6 calories per hour. Also to put that into perspective for you all, the average human body, it only burns about 60 calories at rest. Now, you've all seen me do some pretty insane and just downright crazy things on this channel, but this is going to be without a doubt the most physically demanding thing I've ever attempted to do. That being said, everyone, here are the rules for the 10,000 calorie eat and burn challenge. The first and most obvious rule, my body has to burn at least 10,000 calories during the 24 hour span through exercise alone. That means that I cannot factor in the calories that my body burns just by being alive. The second rule, I have to consume at least 10,000 calories over that same 24 hour span. If I happen to due to overexertion, which is a definite possibility here, I fail the challenge. The fourth rule, I must weigh in before and after to track any changes to my overall body weight, which will be revealed at the end of the video. Now everyone, it's Friday, July 31st, and tomorrow morning, August 1st, the challenge begins. Let's get our pre-challenge weight and our pre-challenge physique check. Just to show you guys, yes, it is Friday, July 31st. Ugh. Still searching for that six pack. I still haven't found it. I don't know where it is. When I find it, I'll let you guys know. All right, now that that's out of the way, it's time to take our pre-challenge weight. All right, everybody, so after taking the dog to the bathroom, getting everything going, got my coffee going, got my water, I'm gonna need a lot of hydration for today. I forgot to mention earlier, I'm gonna be tracking today's expenditure with my Apple Watch. All of the active energy should show up. I gotta say right now, I got about five hours of sleep last night. It's probably not a good thing, but regardless of that, I'm gonna give today everything I got. Like I said earlier, I'm gonna start off today with a run between 14 and 15 miles. No, God, please, no, no! Oh my goodness. Here we go. A few moments later. All right, first miles down. And I'm already really regretting not getting more sleep last night. Well, we're 11 miles in, found my groove. Granted, this is the first activity I'm doing today. We'll see how I feel in a few hours. Sometimes all you gotta do is just get started. Now let's finish off the rest of this run. All right, everybody, well, 16 miles, 16.1 miles down. I'm gonna put the total calories burned right there or somewhere over there. So it's gonna be kind of hard to show you guys, but hopefully, you guys can see it. So it's showing 2384. The 2384 number is gonna be my active energy. I'm also tracking all my activities on my Strava as well as a secondary way to track calories. If you guys wanna follow me there, feel free. I'm not affiliated with Strava anyway, but I'll post a link to that down below. I'm gonna get ready for my run. Uh, I'm gonna get ready for my ride and get my snacks ready. And it's time to head out and crush a bike ride. Oh man, 
There's nothing better than a good cold Powerade after a long run and before a giant 100 plus mile bike ride. Here we go. Two hours later. All right, everybody. Well, we're about 25 miles in. Honestly, I have no idea what time it is. And I'm not really too hungry, so I'm probably gonna wait a little bit longer before I eat. Only 100 more miles to go. Ugh. All right, guys. Well, quick little pit stop. So we're four hours, five minutes in, 72 miles in. Oh my goodness. To be honest, I'm not even really that hungry, but my energy is starting to fade. So I think you guys know what time it is. Oh my goodness. Can't even chew, but it tastes amazing. I can't stop daydreaming about a 7-Eleven Sleepy, but this will do for now. Cinnamon Toast Crunched. Cinnamon Toast Crunched Soft Baked Bars. Kind of got a little demolished, but... Now that... Oh. Now that is a W. Oh, W. Whew. Time to get back to this ride. 2,000 years later. All right, you guys. 100 miles down. I'm feeling it right now. Only 25 more miles left. Eventually. May not have been 120, but at least I got it done. Now, it's time to get some food. Oh man, I look terrible. Well, all right, everybody. According to my Apple Watch, we I'll show you in just a second. We've burned 7,514 calories. I am in a world of pain right now, unfortunately. I'm not really too sure what's gonna happen, but I do know that we are lacking on calories right now. I did take down two bags of Skittles, one bottle of Gatorade on my ride, and one of those cinnamon toast crunch bars. The other three got mushed in my back pocket because of all my sweat. I like bend my wrist so you guys can see this. Can you guys see it? So 5.59 now, 5.58 still. 7,500 plus calories. All right, first stop is Krispy Kreme. I'm coming here specifically because they have the new Reese's Nutrageous Donuts, okay? And people have been going crazy over them and I'm gonna go crazy if they don't have them in stock. I'm gonna go literally bananas. Literally. Hi there. I was actually just hoping that you guys had the uh, the new Reese's donuts in stock. Right now we're all sold out. No! Alrighty. In that case, then I'm just gonna get two chocolate ice glaze with sprinkles, please, and then two strawberry ice glaze with sprinkles, and then two maple ice glaze, please. Can I go ahead and do one apple fritter, and that'll be it? Thank you. Of course. About to go bananas. Oh my god, you're a YouTuber, right? Yeah. What's up? <laughs> I was trying to get those new Reese's donuts. Yeah, they're getting sold out. Take care, right? All right, everybody. So we have our Krispy Kreme. Probably need to go get some bananas. I'm about to go crazy on my Reese's donuts. Dude, for real? That many people waiting for In-N-Out? Uh, I'm just curious. What's the average wait? What's the wait time right now? Do you think? Twelve minutes. Oh, sick. Okay, cool. That's good. Two double doubles, please. And grilled onions, if possible. And then I'm going to go ahead and do one order of fries. Extra well. So I'm going to get a strawberry shake, please. And I think that's going to do it. Have a good day. You too. Two hours later. So this was a pretty terrible decision because it's been 20 minutes and I'm still... I don't have my in and out Thanks so much. Take care, right? All right, everybody. We have our in and out right here and our Krispy Kreme. Now it's time to dine. Time to grub down on some deliciousness. Sorry guys, I'm like, <laughs> I don't even know what day it is. <laughs> oh my goodness, what the am I doing in my life? All right folks, so it is currently 6.48 August 1st. We have 7,530 calories burned. It's been a while since I've eaten in the car. Hopefully you guys are ready for it. Today we have our in and out right here. I'm also going to be having my second Powerade, which is, basically been a savior for me today.
the extra salt is definitely going to be needed today. Just wait for the brunch, wait for the brunch, wait for the brunch. Goodness gracious. You know, there's nothing like in and out fries. I don't care what anybody says. I will always be an in-and-out person. And this, my friends, is a miraculous creation. This is a double-double from In-N-Out with grilled onions. That's the best way to. That's the best way to enjoy it. Great for it. Great for it. Oh my goodness, everybody! Now that is gonna get a W. Oh, W. Oh, they're just so good. I used to crush two of these after basketball games when I was a kid. And, oh. Dude, I can't even think today. Oh my goodness, like everybody watching at home, you probably just like, dude, this is, okay, cool, Eric, just go exercise a lot. It's not that easy. It gets exponentially harder as you burn more and more calories. It's not just like, oh, just burn an extra 3,000 calories today and you're good, dude. Like, no, like extra thousand calories that you burn, like past that 6,000, then the 7,000, and then the 8,000, and then it just gets so much more difficult. That was the best double-double I've ever had in my life. <sighs> it's so good. That's what she said. <laughs> I get one big fire right there for you guys. So here's what I'm doing right now. I'm currently parked on a hill that I usually walk on. There's like 14,000 other people, of course, that are also parked here when usually there's nobody parked here. So I'm gonna do some incline walking after this. And I'm gonna see how long I last. I'm also gonna eat some donuts while I do that. Which is probably gonna look really funny to all the people here. And then we have the second double double right here. I'm gonna be really curious to see what my weight looks like tomorrow and how my body looks tomorrow. And if I haven't said it already, you guys gotta stay tuned into the end of the video and see what the results from all this are. It's got me thinking like, do you guys like the results section of the videos? Let me know, because I do read my comments. Here we go, ready for it? Yeah, oh well, let's get some crunch in here. So, fries are down, in and out is down. Shake is down too. Inner Gatorade is down. <laughs> Powerade. <laughs> I'm just not even gonna say it anymore. I'm gonna actually have this box of donuts, and I'm gonna try to eat this while I walk up this hill, but we can get to the apple fritter first. Everything with sugar tastes good at this point. All right, everybody, while well, our apple fritter and our in and out is down, it's time for round three of exercise. So I've got four pound ankle weights on me and two 25 pound plates in that backpack right there. Unfortunately, my Apple watch is at 28% battery right now, so that's not very good. And it's also gonna be really awkward to eat these and also film. And just so you guys know, one of the donuts has a bite out of it because I took a little video for Instagram. If you guys haven't followed me on Instagram yet, a link to that will be down below because they see everything way before you guys see it. And I love interacting with everybody on Instagram every single day. It's really, really fun. So if you guys haven't yet, follow me on Instagram. A link to that will be in the description. This is about to get super awkward. Another day in life. Man, this hill is brutal. 
which is like the most inefficient way to eat donuts ever. I wanted to get strawberry so we could get some fruit in today. Dude, you're looking at me so funny. Bro, why are you walking up a hill with a box of donuts? What a weirdo. What's up, man? You guys want some Krispy Kreme? I'm all right. I'm, I'm good, all right. Man. Thank you, though. You look good. It. Best one maple ice cream. There's just something about it. It just hits differently. I'm trying to time it so every time I go up and go down, I get one. Really quickly though, before I get to the rest of the donuts, I know a lot of you guys are gonna ask me, you know, like, like how do you put your body through all of that? Like a 112 mile bike ride and a 16 mile run. And honestly, your mentality and your mindset is literally everything with what you do in life. I don't care if it's exercise, I don't care if it's getting ready for a presentation that you have tomorrow, applying for a new job. Your mindset is literally everything in life. And whenever the mind senses discomfort or anything that's unfamiliar, it says, wait, no, I don't wanna do that. And it keeps us in our comfort zones. And I've said this before and I'll say it again, the only way to grow and the only way to get better is by pushing your comfort zones. That is the only way that we grow bigger and become better individuals. What if I told you guys that all of us operate to 40% of our potential and our actual capacity to do things? I've been listening to a lot of David Goggins lately. He talks about the 40% rule. And each day, if you push that capability that you have to 45% better, to 50% better, you will eventually get better at everything that you do in life. So my why with anything that I do in life is because it pushes me, it challenges me, to be better. I can't really think of any other way to say it, but I live for this shit. There's one takeaway point in this video. It's to push yourself into everything that you do in life and you will grow in so many different ways. 34 minutes we burned only 220 calories. Oh man. I really need a cameraman. Donuts are done. I'm gonna finish off the rest of this. Whatever I'm doing. All right, everybody, we've been at this for about 50 minutes now. Like I could keep doing this. It's just not, it's not an efficient way to burn the calories that we need to burn. So I'm gonna put my bag back in my car and make a trip to the grocery store. And then I'm gonna head home because I think I got a more efficient way to burn the calories that we need to burn. Oh, I'm going crazy, everybody. I'm going crazy. All right, everybody, I'm back. Got my groceries. 8.47, still the same day. Guess what I'm about to do? I'm gonna go for my second ride. All right, you guys, so back at 9 o'clock, and what we have here is a stationary bike trainer. We have about 27... We have about 2,078 calories left to burn. So what that means is we have to finish off the rest of our calorie burn challenge on this bike trainer. Yeah, I really want to have this down before midnight. The challenge did start at 7 a.m. So if you haven't really been enough time, but I really want, really want to have 10,000 calories burned by the night. So we have exactly three hours. If you guys think I can do it, comment down below. S'mores. Let's get to it. Let's get to it. Alright, guys, so I'm 
One Eternity Later. First hour is complete. So Let's see how many calories we burn. So we burned 628 calories. We've ridden 12.2 miles. We've ridden for an hour. Just gotta keep going. Uh. All right, everybody. Well, it's 1110. Don't mind the uh, active energy. It'll all sync up when I'm done with this ride, but I've got about 50 minutes left in the day at least. Really want to try to get 10,000 calories burned at least by midnight. We gotta pump out these next few minutes. Let's keep going. 12 o'clock midnight. Now the moment of truth. We see how I was able to get 10,000 calories burned before midnight. Nine thousand six hundred and forty-six calories active energy. Well, means I gotta burn two hundred and about two hundred fifty more calories. I'm still burning ten thousand calories in twenty-four hours, people. I'm not giving up. It's twelve oh seven now. I feel like I'm going crazy. Two thousand years later. Do twenty-two minutes on the trainer. Gonna do some high intensity stuff until I get to train her. Sure. Oh, well, everybody, uh, this is gonna be the latest I've ever done a food challenge. So, well, hopefully, you guys can see that. 12.49 a.m. You guys are probably wondering, Eric, how does it feel to burn 10,000 calories? I just want to go to sleep. <laughs> Anyways, everybody, we have all new birthday cake, Kit Kats right here, apple pie Kit Kats, some sushi, some apple pie over there. Obviously, I was in an apple pie mood. I decided that I was gonna make some s'mores. Now, also, my friend Brad, his cookie company, Fat and Weird Cookie, they're legendary, okay? And they're well known out in the world right now. And so I wanted to actually include three of his cookies in this challenge right here. So, really quickly, I am going to warm up our s'mores and we're gonna finish off this 10,000 calorie eat and burn challenge. A few moments later. Okay, everybody, whoa. Well, oh, it is now 101. You guys haven't already. You guys gotta give the video a like if you poop today. So I think we're gonna start with our sushi. Here we go. I just realized it has avocado in it and I ain't even mad. It may look gross, but seaweed salad is amazing. Absolutely amazing. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Not bad, Eric. Not bad indeed. Sorry, I needed like three minutes to eat that bite. I'm gonna go grab a towel because oh my gosh, I need to stand up. <sighs> oh, okay, back to our regularly scheduled programming. All right, everybody, well, our s'mores are all down. Now I think it's time to get into our fat and weird cookies next. 
So this cookie, ladies and gentlemen, is stuffed with a Twix, and it's a Frappuccino-based cookie. Let's, let's see if it delivers. Here we go. We need a moment. Wow, that was absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. Like an apple pie Kit Kat, and I didn't even plan that. Do not eat pie or cake off of a knife. I'm a trained professional idiot. Okay. No. Oh my goodness gracious, it's stuffed with a Reese's peanut butter cup. It's a black cocoa base with Reese's pieces and a peanut butter cup. It's gonna be delicious. Now my friends is gonna get a duck. Oh, duck. You know what, let's just, let's throw three fires in there too, because that is absolutely amazing. Guys, our cookies, apple pie are down. Now I think we're gonna move on over to our Kit Kats next. I actually tried the birthday cake Kit Kats on my second channel, but I'm really, really, really curious to see if these apple pie Kit Kats are gonna move up to the height. Let's try it out. Good, but I just, I don't taste apple pie. Regardless, I'm gonna eat them anyways. All right, everybody, well, kick guys are down now. It's on to our, our final item here. Make sure you guys stick around after this is over because who wants to miss the results of all of this, right? Anyways. Wonder what it would be like to eat the world's biggest bowl of Reese's Puffs. Maybe I should do that next week. We're done. Well, everyone, if you're still below the video, comment down below, puff, because these are Reese's Puffs. That was it. 1.43 a.m. Oh my gosh, 1.43 a.m. Now it's time for me to show you guys the results of what happened today. All right, everybody, it's two days after the challenge and we are officially at the results part of the video. I just wanna say that this was without a doubt the most physically demanding thing I've ever done in my entire life. And before I get into the results section, I just wanna issue a quick disclaimer, everyone. It's really great to exercise, but please do not attempt to burn 10,000 calories in 24 hours. Like I said, it's great to exercise, but I just don't want anybody getting hurt. The closest I've ever gotten to burning 10,000 calories was a few months ago after I rode 150 miles. Anyways, that day I burned a little less than 8,000 calories with my BMR affected into it. So in this challenge, I had to burn a few extra thousand calories, which proved to be extremely difficult. Now, before going into this challenge, I'd seen a few YouTubers try doing this challenge, but one that stood out to me the most was Will Tenyonson's video. He actually came super close. I think he got to about 8,700 calories burned before calling it quits. But his video was the first that I ever saw that made me go, wow, I actually really wanna try this. So you guys gotta go check out Will's channel if you haven't already, he's got some really good content. I'm obviously a bit bummed that I didn't get the 10,000 calories burned before midnight, but since I went by active energy, calories burned and only factored in the calories I burned through exercise, the clock really started once I began my run that day. That being said, folks, I ended up finishing the challenge at just after 12.30 a.m. after a bunch of push-ups, sit-ups, and burpees, and I burned about 10,036 calories in 17 and a half hours. That means I burned roughly 573.4 calories per hour. Whew. Oh, man. I ran for 16.12 miles, my midday bike ride was 112.61 miles, my evening incline walk was only about 2 miles, and I rode about 39 more miles during the last 3 hours at home. That being said though everyone, I definitely did have my fair share of mistakes that I made. Me being me, I went too hard 
way too soon. And I bonked really, really quickly, which means I ran out of energy. Now, generally when I do my long 100 plus mile bike rides, I start fueling around the five hour mark. If you guys don't know, I generally train fasted and usually have a really big meal the night before. My mistake during the bike ride was not fueling sooner. Just because I normally don't do 16 mile runs followed by 110 mile bike rides regularly, I hit a wall rather abruptly and by the time I hit the wall, it was almost too late. I just have to say the in and out and the donuts were the saviors for me in this challenge. And I did have two Powerades during the day, but the salt from the burgers and the fries, whew, that was exactly what I needed. Which leads me to my probably my biggest mistake that I made during the challenge. Doing the incline walk and choosing to wait in line for over a half hour and wasting another hour between setting up shots and everything and only burning 350 calories in the later period of the day. If I would have gone home and hopped straight on the bike after the In-N-Out and the Donuts, I would have definitely completed the challenge much, much sooner. Now here's what I learned from burning 10,000 calories in under 24 hours. The day after was absolutely, it was, it was brutal. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I went to sleep around 2.30 that night and woke up at about 9 a.m. after tossing and turning. I just did not get any sleep at all. I had horrible blisters, pretty bad muscle pain in my shoulders, in my back, my legs, and my feet and my neck from being on the bike all day. Now, next was my mental state. Now, the day that I did the challenge, I felt pretty in the zone and obviously I was super tired by the end of it, but the next day kind of felt like I was, it was weird, I was just in a fog all day. I couldn't really think clearly. So for the majority of the day, I really couldn't do a whole lot. The last thing that I learned is something that I wanted to talk a little bit more in depth about for you guys. And it's that I'm actually capable of pushing myself and exercising for 17 and a half hours. Like I mentioned earlier, I've been listening to a lot of David Goggins and recently Tim Grover. They've really made me take on a new mentality with not just, not just exercise, and food challenges, but with my life as a whole. A lot of you may ask me what I thought about during the day, how I got myself through the agony of that much exercise. But as I said in this video already, mentality literally is everything. We get too focused on the dark and bumpy roads in our lives with whatever we're doing instead of focusing on the destination at the end of those roads. Now, I don't care whether you're trying to burn 10,000 calories in a day, lose a few pounds, nail a presentation at work, or just make it through those last few weeks of school. If you adopt a mentality that makes you focus on the negatives in your situation, you will think negatively, and the likelihood of you actually accomplishing your goal will become less and less likely. Honestly, folks, I put my heart and my soul into this channel. And by doing stuff like this and showing it to you all, to the world, it's made me realize a lot about myself. And it's also made me realize that these videos go well beyond just being food videos, at least for me. And I hope that you all feel the same. Now to switch gears completely, I'm sure you're all wondering what my weight looked like before and after the challenge, so I'm gonna show you guys that right now. And here's what my physique looked like before and after the challenge. All right, everybody, well, it is August 2nd, the day after. Oh my goodness, my body is. Honestly, not a whole lot changed. I definitely felt like I was still really depleted the day after the challenge, but for eating 10,000 calories and burning 10,000 calories in a day, I don't really think a whole lot changed. Now the big question, I'm sure you're all wondering, would I do this challenge again? I think I would do it again. In fact, I might actually already have something up my sleeve, but I wanna hear from you all because if this video gets 50,000 likes, I will attempt to do a 10,000 calorie eat and burn challenge on a single bike ride. So if you guys wanna see that, hit that like button. If you guys wanna keep watching more Eric the Electric, I'm gonna put another video and another playlist down below right there. You guys can check those out. Keep rocking with me. And also, if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to the channel. It would mean a lot to me, guys. Thanks for watching the video, folks. And I'll see you all next week.